Welcome to my kitchen. Growing up in France, going to the boulangerie was a regular thing. I never really appreciated until I moved away from Europe. In the United States, it's either hard to get really healthy and authentic bread, or if you can, it's very expensive and treated as a niche product. For me, natural and healthy bread should be a daily staple, so I'm going to show you a homemade baguette recipe that I think will save you time and money and bring the flavor of France to your home. A word of caution, this recipe requires a bread maker to knead the dough because no one wants to knead five times every 45 minutes and to be the neighborhood boulanger for their family. The good news is that the bread maker will basically pay for itself within the first year if you make bread regularly. I use a Panasonic bread maker which actually has a 5 hour French bread setting and I use that setting right up until the baking cycle. Basically, I make the machine do all the work and I bake the baguettes myself. If you don't want baguettes and prefer a loaf of bread, just leave the dough in the bread maker and it will cook and the total time you will spend is around 5 minutes of prep time. Our baguette recipe today will consist of larger baguettes called pain, which is a large loaf baguette. The only difference is I form two pain out of the dough instead of three to four baguettes out of it. Everything else is the same. So let's get started on this 22 minute miracle recipe that has saved me living in hot and humid Florida from eating the preservative filled stuff from the grocery store shelves. You're going to need a scale set to grams, a plastic scraper, two teaspoons of salt, preferably Celtic, but here I'm using Himalayan, one teaspoon of yeast, 420 grams of bread flour, 312 grams of water. The Panasonic bread maker is really big, so here's a chart that you can use with your own bread maker. Trust me, as a person who grew up in Europe, a quality bread maker works just fine as long as you do the prep before the baking. I've used this particular model about 300 times now and the results are very consistent and it has paid for itself time and time again. Place your scale on a flat surface and reset it with the bread maker tub on it. You want to see the display reading zero grams. Next, add one teaspoon of yeast and add 312 grams of filtered water at room temperature. If your room is very cold, you may want to warm the water up a tad to help the yeast. I like to shake the bowl to get the yeast mixed and saturated with water. At this point, if you trust your yeast is good, you can move to the next step. If you want to make sure that it blooms, leave it for five minutes to check the, for fizziness and to see if it's activating. Since I don't like to mix salt into my yeast, I next add the flour. Add 420 grams of flour. I sometimes get really good results by using a sifter to add the flour, but you can just drop it in. Next, sprinkle around two teaspoons of salt on top of the flour. Place in the machine and set your alarm for around three to three and a half hours. That's it for the first part and it took you all of five minutes to put all this into the machine. When your dough has risen and has been properly kneaded by the bread maker, and it's been around three hours, it is time to take your dough out of the container and shape the baguettes. I like to sift some flour on the board and just drop the dough ball on it. Be careful to preserve the bottom of this ball as it will be the outside of your baguettes. You will be working only with the top part and leave the bottom undisturbed. Cut the ball into how many pain or baguette that you want. In this recipe, I get two large pains, which I'm making or three medium to baguettes, or four small ones. After you have cut the dough, put the other piece aside and begin flattening the first piece. You want to remove the air bubbles and shape it into an elongated rectangle. If your dough is extremely sticky, use a cup of water to dip your fingers, but I usually just use some flour. Fold the ends of the square over and work towards the middle. Some say to work from the middle out, but I have found that the consistency of the shape is easier this way. Keep folding from the outside in, and that flat bottom 
will fold over itself and you will see the baguette shape emerging. You will also notice that that dusted smooth side is becoming the outside of your baguette. When you reach the end, there will be a seam, and this is the seam that you will lay your baguette down on. The seam goes on the bottom. Prepare a baking sheet or a baguette sheet as I'm doing here. I use these quite a lot as you can see, and I tend to apply one sheet of parchment paper so as to avoid sticking and the mess. Since the baguettes will bloom and grow quickly in the oven, it is a good idea to keep the large ones separated from each other and only put the small ones next to each other on the tray. Set your oven to 550. This will yield softer baguettes. If you want extra crispy, set your oven to 500 and bake them for 18 minutes instead of 12. So 550 for 12 minutes and 500 for 18 minutes. While your oven is preheating, cover the baguettes with something. I tend to use the cling product and they will rise one more time while the oven preheats for 20 minutes. Some people do not cut the baguette now, but I like to because it tends to grow with the cut and offers a better visual look once it's done. After the oven is preheated and your baguette is proofed for a bit, it's time to put them into the oven. I first like to spray water with a mister spray bottle into the oven, onto the racks and the bottom aluminum to get instant steam. As I do this, I keep the door slightly ajar so the steam does not escape. I will quickly put the baguettes in and wait a minute and then open up and spray again. You should spray a minimum of twice, first when you put them in and halfway through the baking. But I do it around four times myself every few minutes I open the door slightly and I spray inside. Now bake for 12 minutes at 550 or 18 minutes at 500. Et voila! Five minutes to get the ingredients into the bread maker. Five minutes to shape and fold. 12 minutes to bake and it took us 22 minutes to make these baguettes. Once you get a rhythm, you will see how quickly you can have French bread freshly made at home using only a couple basic natural ingredients. A votre santé et à bientôt.